Hello and welcome to uh, Film Mixologist. We're carrying on with this uh, with a DCNF build. Um, but before we carry on to, uh, too much and I do a lot of processes, I want to share with you um, the secret and my top tip to get the most flow out of a standard Weber DCNF. And it entails doing some slight modifications to the throttle shaft and, and which screws do you use in the throttle shaft to secure the butterflies. So what I need to do is I, is I, can, I need to come and, and show you a bit closer because if not it'll be difficult to see. So on this side what you've got is the standard shaft with the standard throttle screws. Let me let me bring it even closer. Yeah. So as you can see, you've got you've got two problems. When 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 the throttle shaft opens, you have got this that that is that presents quite a restriction to airflow. This screw, and also there's quite a lot of it coming down on the other side. So obviously, when you when you give it the full when, it, when, it, when it's at wide open throttle, you've got this acting as a restriction and this acting as a restriction on the other side. So, what I have done in here, I've done one on one so, you, so that you can see the difference. So here what I've done is I filed very carefully, because if I, in the standard throttle shaft there is like a ledge here, so I filed that away. And, I'm, and I've used different screws, like these are the, the, like the original Italian screws. And as you can see, they come out a bit less, so that I'm going to even file that, so, so, so it, represent, it presents less of a restriction. So as you can see, kind of this, if, if, you, if you look at the difference between the two of them, is very clear to see, I mean, you you can see. I hope, hopefully, that you can see it there in camera. But you can see it with the, with the naked eye um, that this side represent mm, represents much less of a restriction than this side, and that really is the key to maximizing the flow of a standard holly. So, so a standard weather. Sorry. So if I if I if I do this work on all four throttle blades. And when when you put the throttle up to maximum, uh, you're gonna get the most flow that can possibly come out of a standard Weber DCNF. Now this is what I call phase one. There is there is a phase two and even a phase three. So I'll show you what I mean by phase two using this um, Delorto DHLA45 as a demonstrator. Now, as you can see, I've put two different throttle shafts in there, it's because they have kind of a, a different treatment. So let me show you what I mean by this. So on this side, you've got the standard Delorto throttle shaft. So as you can see, it's got like metal here, uh, underneath, and here. And this is what I call the phase two throttle shaft which is as you can see is started cutting it here but what you would do is you will cut it even more so you, as you can see here let me see if I can put you put both there kind of this one presents much less of a restriction to the airflow than this one does um, so therefore this will give you kind of much more performance um, when you when you're putting it in a car, obviously it needs to be completed in the sense of this needs to be lobbed off, and therefore that's where you're gonna get most of the performance improvement over this one, which is the standard shaft. Now that is phase two. There is a phase three, but that's much more complicated, and basically what what it entails it entails getting the getting this throttle plate soldiering soldering the holes and basically cut the entirety of the shaft so cut this bit out as well about here and then soldering the shaft to the 
um, to the butterfly and that so therefore that will give you essentially just the butterfly as the cross-sectional area in here and that is how you maximize the flow um, that's generally how you maximize the flow of carbs um, now for this particular build for this particular build what I am going to do is I'm gonna do the old phase one so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna file it straight and I'm gonna use this this different throttle screws and um, so it'll have a little bit more flow at top end the most that you can get out of a out of a standard setup uh, but it's gonna help performance a little bit I'm not gonna go phase two um, just because that is a kind of special order item in a sense so now what I need to do is I need to finish this one so I need to do the same as, as I've done with all the others and I need to then treat this and I'll show you how to treat this um, so that it's uh, so I, it's a corrosion treatment that I do is called chemical blacking so I'll show you that uh, in a minute first I need to just do this in the same shape as this one okay so this is um, a few days later and we have got the throttle plates now fully treated as you can see these things have been chemically blackened now the reason I use this process is not necessarily so that they look good although that helps because these carburetors are not going to be cheap um, but the reason I use this process is for protection from corrosion and you can see this looks absolutely factory and you'll see it once it's on the once it's on the carbs actually it, it doesn't look any different to, to a standard uh, throttle plate unless you know specifically what you're looking for so now I put a little bit of grease um, on the end of the shafts and now it's time to start assembling it so I'll walk you through that process okay so here's me hoping this camera angle is going to work so basically to do a throttle plate you just insert it like so which should go in kind of pretty easily you got to find the 78 which is obviously um, the orientation here and you what you need to work out is how the throttle plate closes which is this side so well in the middle and so I decided I was going to turn the carb around because it's easier to do because you've got this kind of number 78 which is the angle there we go so this is more or less where you want it to be this can be sometimes a little bit fiddly so you need to it, it helps that it has some of the marks you see what I'm trying to do is get it sometimes you need to just give it like a little yeah there we go perfect I think that's that's where it should go so what you do I'll show you the first first one so what you do is you put the throttle screws there we go and then what you do is back them out just a little bit and then there we go so the so you got the idle and just a touch of that transfer screw showing and now what we need to do is do the same thing 
here and make sure that we are at the same level see here we're not so we just need to keep persevering until we find the right position there we go and they are right at the same level there and there so I think that's that's looking good obviously once we've got the return spring we can do a final adjustment but for the time being this is looking good there we go and now bearings which should be in this model should be relatively easy so basically what I tend to do is I'll put them I'll put them on um, with it maybe it requires a touch more grease on this one especially around here there we go there we go and now what you need to do is if you get a something to drive it you can just drive it with a screwdriver for example and generally you strike it about there be careful not to damage there we go and one more should do it possibly there we go so we've got bearings installed and the throttle plates installed well so now what we need to do is that I'll then fix it uh, with Loctite but I'll show you that uh, at the end of uh, at the end of the video okay so <coughs> here we are with the throttle plates on both cars actually sounding good I used the good old Loctite 270 to to fix the the screws so now then <coughs> they're not going anywhere so this brings us to the end of this a video in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to finish putting all the cups together um, and I have to say that I've got many many videos about Italian carbs American carbs and I'm going to put it down as a description in my playlist <coughs> <coughs> for those that haven't been following the channel for a while uh, or, or the, that are new to the channel that you've just seen this video uh, I've got lots of carb content so Hopefully you stick around, subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode.